Hey everyone, welcome to the club. Today I'll be showing you how to draw supersonic. Let's get started in the center of our page with the nose. So I'm going to start with a small circle, starting from the top, work our way around to the bottom, and then back up to the top. Now on the top left of the circle, I'm going to draw an even smaller circle for a highlight. And then we'll fill the outer area of the nose in black. Now let's draw the top edge of the muzzle in behind the nose. So I'm going to start on the left side of the nose with a curve coming out and then down. Do the same thing on the right side. Now I'm going to blend into a curve going out towards the outside of the muzzle. Starting on the left, we'll curve in the opposite direction going up. Do the same thing on the right side. Now I'm going to round out the side of the muzzle and then come down towards the chin. Starting on the left side, we're going to blend into a curve going around and then down in towards the middle. Now let's go to the right side and do the same thing. Round out the side. Now I'm just gonna blend that in towards the chin. I'm gonna shift the mouth over towards the left side here. So we're gonna draw a curve from the outside, curve down, and then in. Just above the nose, right in the middle, we're gonna draw a straight line going up to separate the brow. Now on the left side, I'm gonna curve the brow going up towards the left. So just on the side here of the nose, we're gonna curve up and then out. Go to the right side and do the same thing. Now we're gonna round out the side of the eye and then come down on the side of the muzzle. Starting on the left side, we're gonna blend into a curve going around and then pull that in. Do the same thing on the right. Now I'm gonna draw two small half ovals tucked in underneath the upper eyelid. Starting on the left side, we're going to come down with a curve and then back up. We'll do the same thing on the right side. Now we'll draw two smaller ovals in the center of the iris for the pupil. And fill those in black. Just above the top of the eyes, I'm going to draw a curve for the brow line. Starting on the left, curve up, and just pull that in. Now that we've drawn in the face, let's work in the spikes around the side of the head. So I'm going to start on the lower left side of the muzzle. Down here, we're going to curve up and out towards the left, right about there. We're going to do the same thing on the right. We're going to bring this up about the same height as the top of the eyes. Now I'm just going to hook this back in with a short curve. Starting on the left, curve down and then in. Now I'm going to layer the second spike on top of this line. So from here, we're going to step in curve over the line and go straight up. Do the same thing on the right. Curving over the line and going straight up. Now let's take these two points and just taper them back in. Starting on the left, I'm going to curve in to right about here, just above the left eye. Do the same thing on the right side. Now we're going to layer the ears on top of the spikes. So from this point, I'm going to step down, go up, and then curve that in. From here, I'm going to curve in the opposite direction and then down. Let's do the same thing on the right. From this point, we'll step down, go up, and then curve in. Now I'm going to curve in the opposite direction towards the inside of the ear. Let's trim out the inside of the ear. So I'm going to follow this curve on the inside and then along the outside. Now we're going to connect these two points with a curve going up and then across. Let's do the same thing on the right. Now I'm going to draw one large spike in the center of the head curving over towards the left. So let's start on the inside of the left ear, go up, and then we'll curve this out towards the left. Now I'm going to curve this back in towards the inside of the right ear. Go across, and then we'll just pull that down. Now let's move down and draw on the body. So the body is an oval shape, so we're going to start on the left side, we're going to curve around the side of the body, and we're just going to pull that into around right here. We want to leave a little gap for the legs. We'll move to the right and do the same thing, curving out and then pulling that in. Now let's leave a little gap for the legs on either side and finish off the bottom. From left to right, we'll just draw a short curve. On the left side of this lower torso, I'm going to draw a straight angle line coming down towards the ankle on the left side. Coming down to right about there. We'll do the same thing on the right. Coming down an angle to the same height. Now let's go to the outside and draw that same line. Now 
Now on the left side, I just want to overlap these two lines with the curve. Stepping out, curve down, and then over the lines. Now we're going to draw on the cuff. We step up beside the left side of the leg, curve around the edge of the boot. We'll do the same thing on the right, going in and then back out. Let's do the same thing on the right. From this point, we're going to step out, curve down, and then back up on the right. Now we're going to step up on the inside, curve around the cuff of the boot, go up on the outside and do the same thing. Then we want to add a fold in the boot cuff. So on the left side, we're going to step out, curve around, come down in the middle, and we're going to tuck this up underneath on the inside. Let's do the same thing on the right. Now we're going to layer the shoes in underneath the cuff. On the left side, right down here, we curve in and then down. Do the same thing on the right. Now let's round out the bottom of the shoe. So from the heel to the toe, we'll curve down and then back up towards the toe. Do the same thing on the right side. Now from the toe, we're going to curve up in behind the cuff. At the bottom of the shoe, I'm going to take this curve and just duplicate it right up above for the sole. We'll do the same thing on the right side. Now we're going to add a stripe across the shoe. So right where the cuff meets the shoe, right at the top here, we're going to curve in and then just pull that down towards the sole. We're going to step out and just draw that same curve. Let's do the opposite on the right side. Starting up here, curve in and then down. We'll step out. Now I'm going to move back up and draw on the body patch. So it's basically another oval tucked in underneath the head. So we step in, curve around to the bottom, and then back up on the right side. Now let's move to the outside and draw on the arms. So I'm going to have the arms out in fists. So let's start on the left side. At the top of the shoulder here, we'll curve down, and then just curve it out towards the left. We'll do the same thing on the right side. Coming down, and then out towards the right. Now I'm going to draw that curve twice. So I step down and just draw an even space gap going out towards the wrist. We'll do the same thing on the right. Now going back to the left side, I want to overlap the cuff on top of the wrist. We're going to connect these two points with a curve. Now at the end, I want to draw a bracket, just hooking it around on the top and then the bottom. Now I'm going to overlap the second fold. So from here, I'm going to step in, curve over, down and then in. Let's do the same thing on the right side. We'll connect the top and bottom line with a curve. Now we're going to draw a hook at the bottom and then the top. Now we're going to overlap the fold. Coming in, we'll go around, back down to the bottom, and then back over. Now going back to the left side, let's draw on this fist. So I'm going to start at the top of the cuff. We go up, we're going to curve it down. Now I'm just going to pull the thumb upwards. Now we're going to stack the fingers in behind the thumb. So right on the side here, I'm going to draw a small half oval going out and then back in behind the thumb. We'll draw two more fingers. At the bottom of this finger, we're going to curve out, come in, and we'll tuck this in underneath the thumb. Do that one more time. Now at the bottom of this finger, I just want to curve the bottom of the hand going in behind the cuff. Going up. Let's take that and flip it over on the right side. Starting from the edge of the cuff, go up, down, and then we'll hook the thumb back up. On the side, we're going to add the first finger, going out, and then in. The second finger starts right down here, go around the tip of the thumb, and then back in. We'll do that one more time. Now at the bottom of this finger, we're just going to curve the bottom of the hand in towards the cuff. Now the final thing I want to do is add the tail over towards the left side here. So we start on the side of the body, we'll curve down and out towards the left. I want to take this point and aim towards the inside of the right leg with the curve going in behind the left leg and then up in between. And that's pretty much it. There we have it. They're super sonic. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. Make sure you subscribe and send me your requests in the comments below. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again soon.